All right, so going to have uh, Coach Butters demonstrating some of the movements for uh, what's it Thursday's workout. My legs are trembly after doing Wednesday's workout. I've just been sitting for an hour, so he was kind enough to do this uh, for me. We got three moves with the uh, uh, PVC. I think most people should use PVC today um, just because it offers like a time to have both recovery and some skill practice. But if you're feeling real confident, you want to maybe drop the reps down an empty bar or maybe like one of the lighter weight barbells could work as well. But the number one most important thing, whichever version you choose or whichever weight you choose, is that there's a lot of focus on your setup and then execution of each rep. We're looking to like uh, ingrain really good mechanics uh, as we do this workout. So don't rush it just to kind of get the you know fast repetitions like it's like a, a normal workout. Use it for the technique. So the first one here, uh, Bodo's going to get set up down at his shins. His feet are Narrow, his hands are going to be wide. These are all snatch drills. And all we're going to go for is a snatch shrug. Before he starts, and before you start, I want every rep you feel like a good setup position, like you had some weight in your hands. He's going to slowly come up past the knees and then finish with an aggressive shrug. The idea is trying to get that bar moving nice and upright. He's taking his time every time, making sure to get set at the bottom. And then as it feels good, comes up the thigh with a very aggressive finish. Nice. Movement number one. Next one is going to be a snatch balance. You're going to start with this PVC on your shoulders. A couple of ways you can do this, but the basic idea is you're going to begin with your feet narrow and then the bar on your shoulders. And as quickly as you can, you're going to drop down to uh, an overhead squat position. The lower you can catch it, the better. But basically, when your feet hit again, you want your arms to be locked out, very similar to like a jerk. So the first one here, He's going to do no dipping, and he's just going to fall into the overhead squat as fast as he can. Whenever he's going. You'll notice wherever he lands, he sticks it, makes sure everything's solid, and then stands up. We'll do another one just like that. This is a speed drill and a timing drill, so you're trying to get fast uh, and then make a real solid landing. Last one. If uh, you feel confident with the uh, coordination, or maybe if you have a little bit of weight with like an empty bar, you can consider starting with a little bit of a dip, very much like a push jerk. So we'll do two of those. The idea there is the little dip gives you just a little upward, kind of pop so you have some time to race underneath it. But the ending is the same. You want to end very, very uh, fast. Last drill is a high hang snatch. And all that means is Butters is going to kind of bend his knees and just basically go down one third of the way from his thighs and start very tight and when he pulls he's going to try and pull fast into a power snatch or if you feel good you can consider getting progressively lower so each rep can go down maybe two or three inches but wherever it feels good for you again this is like a, a timing and a speed drill but you'll notice every time when he gets set up he's down and he pauses boom pull the trigger and if you're doing reps like he's doing right now with PVC, I guarantee, you know, five to six reps of those each round by the end of this 20-minute uh, AMRAP, wrap, you're going to feel like you put in some quality reps. Good? Enjoy.